Hey there, it appears the teen who posted the TikTok has deleted her account, but not before a Twitter user could capture it. A post that now has more than 4 million views. Ladies are hot. In the TikTok, the teen's on-screen text refers to cops, African Americans, and then a reference to the three-fifths compromise. And it appears she's in a cotton field, which both date back to slavery. I'm sorry for, for putting out that video in the first place. I should have realized that it was wrong. Now, the teen who is a student at Campo Verde High School in Gilbert is apologizing and explaining. I didn't mean for it to come off as racist, even though considering the context of it, I... I didn't mean it like that. I was just doing a TikTok trend. Communication expert Eric Bailey says for teens, they oftentimes don't think about the long-term consequences. The young lady at the time wasn't thinking about rational thought. She was thinking about, ooh, this is going to give me the most likes. Likes equals a dopamine release. Dopamine release equals that feels good. And so that's how those things perpetrate. This isn't the first time we've seen racist claims involving Valley students. Back in 2016, seniors at Desert Vista in Ahwatukee stood with the N-word on their T-shirts during an on-campus photo shoot, trying to create an inside joke that quickly spread. A lot of people will say, well, I, I'm not racist. I didn't mean for it to be racist, so it's not racist. Unfortunately, that's not the way that things work. Uh, you don't need intent to actually to, to do a racist act or say racist words. In the Desert Vista case, the district suspended the seniors for 10 days. As for the teen at Campo Verde High School, the school says it's investigating and the behavior displayed in this video is not representative of our district or Campo Verde High. The teen claims she didn't think the clip would garner so much attention. My actions were, aren't okay and anything I'll say won't justify what I did. If you need help discussing race relations and what is and isn't appropriate with your kids, check out the 12 News app for resources. In Scottsdale, Rachel Cole, 12 News.